Good morning students. As you all know that ICSC has included notice writing in its English language paper from 2019 and onwards. So in today's module, we will learn the format of notice writing. There are two formats. We'll learn about both the formats of notice writing and we'll see some sample answers. So this is the format. Here you can see there's heading. So heading must be appropriate to the event. You should not write notice, N-O-T-I-C-E. You should not write, you should write an appropriate heading to the event. Now this heading carries one mark. Next, you have to write the date. It carries half mark. In next line, you have to write time, which carries another half mark. Then venue. Venue carries one mark, which is half for the hall or the auditorium wherever it is happening and second is the location of that hall so half and half one mark for venue now name of the event for example it is war with words which is an inter school debate you have to write the name of the event this carries one mark now another one mark for telling for whom it, the notice is for Details of the target audience, invitees, etc. Example, all pupils from class 8 to 10 are eligible to participate. And this was the basic format. Now let's look at the specimens. Now specimen for notice writing. Now there are two formats, format 1 and 2 and both are acceptable by ICSC board exam. So whichever your school is following, you do that but both are acceptable. Let's look at the first format. Question 1. Your school is hosting an inter-school debate competition. Write a notice for your school informing them of the event. Now here you can see format 1. First of all you have to draw a box. Then in format 1 everything is centrally aligned. So now war of world, words. This is the heading. Next you can see inter-school debate competition. Now inter-school debate competition is the name of the event. Which event is happening? An inter-school debate competition. And what is the title of the notice? It is war of words. So for title you get one marks. For name of the event you get one marks. Then date. You have to write the date in this format. You have to write on 8th December. You have to write it full not DEC 8th December 2017 without any commas it will fetch you half mark then timing from 9 a.m. to 12 noon which will fetch you half mark now venue at centenary hall where in St. Hilda's school so you are giving the name of the hall and the location where that hall is located so you get one mark now next one mark is for other details like all pupils from class 9th and 10 who wish to participate are to give their names to Mrs. T. Baker on or before 1st December 2017. So this is the body which will include that notice is meant for whom, where to give the names and all the other necessary details. Now let's look at format 2. You are the games captain at school. The school is organizing an inter-house basketball competition. Write out a notice to be put up in your school informing students about it. Now you can see the specimen answer here. Now in format 2, it is left aligned and there is one more difference. They have mentioned date, time, venue by writing date, time, venue and then the answer to it. Now let's look at it. First is the title that is dribble stars. Then which competition? The name of the competition that is inter-house basketball competition. Then date, D-A-T-E date and a semicolon. The date has to be in this format. First you have to write the day that is Wednesday. Then the date 4th July comma and the year. In time semicolon 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Venue that is the main basketball court where in Berkeley's high sports complex. <clears throat> now children please note that in format 1 okay, these date, time and venue were not mentioned in bullet forms like this. 
okay they had directly mentioned the date time and venue but have not written the heading so here we we write the heading then the match schedule is as follows so they have written in four bullet points the match schedule you can write it in paragraph form also then all house captains are requested to keep their respective house teams ready and submit the names to the games captain before 25th june 2018 so students please remember that whether you write in bullets or in paragraph form but your final statement your last ending has to be there okay because it carries separate marks the marking scheme is as is similar to the format one and look at another example your school is organizing a charity drive for the underprivileged children of the nearby locality write out a notice to be put up in your school informing students about the event and inviting them to participate in the charity drive look at the heading it's such a catchy heading give till it hurts then they have written the title that is charity drive for the underprivileged children of our locality and date time and venue then the body all the students from class 5 to 10 kindly contribute to make the charity drive a success used textbooks unused notebooks stationery blazers sweaters or shoes that are in good condition may be handed over to your class prefect then you can see the ending line be a be as generous as possible give till it hurts so you can see the heading is very catchy they have mentioned date time and venue this is the format 2 they have given the body and the ending sentence please like share and comment on our video please click here to see email writing thank you